Exam Scholar, Real Estate Edition. What are fixtures in real estate? In real estate, something that is fixed to a property as an improvement is called a fixture. However, determining if something is a fixture or personal property, also called a chattel, can be a challenge and sometimes leads to contention between parties in sale transactions or rental agreements. Understanding what qualifies as a fixture is important for all real estate agents because conflicts over fixtures can actually end up killing a deal. Personal property or chattels are items that are not attached or involve the interest of land. This could be furniture, area rugs, curtains, or anything else that is not permanently fixed to the real property. A fixture, on the other hand, is an item that has been permanently fixed to real property and therefore becomes a value-adding piece of that property via appurtenance. When deciding if something is a fixture, we typically follow a single guiding principle, being the method of attachment. Some example of fixtures are, one, stoves, two, toilets, three, hot water heaters, four, central air conditioners, but not window units, five, flooring, six, lighting. This may seem simple enough, but there are quite a few gray areas when it comes to fixtures. Let's go back to curtains and other window treatments. Typically, blinds and shades are considered fixtures because they are screwed into the window frame. However, when it comes to curtains, which are hanging on a rod, they are considered personal property. So, what do you think the curtain rod is? If you guessed a fixture, then you would be correct. The acronym MARIA can help in determining if an object is a fixture or not. M is for method of attachment. If an object is physically or permanently attached to a property, either by glue, screw, nail, or otherwise, it's usually considered a fixture. A is for adaptability. When an object isn't screwed or nailed, but has still become a part of the property, it is a fixture. An example of this would be laminate flooring planks. R is for relationships of the party. When there is a dispute over a possible fixture, Typically, the buyer ends up having the upper hand because it is assumed that anything that the seller would have attached to the property was meant to be a permanent fixture. I is for intention. This is similar to R in that it takes into consideration what the property owner's intention is with the installment. A is for agreement. What is written in the contract is what becomes the deciding factor. For this reason, when putting together a purchase contract, it's important to clarify any possible fixtures that are included with the purchase contract. As a real estate agent, it will be important for you to clarify with your sellers all possible fixtures before listing a property for sale. When you're working with a buyer, double check with the selling agent that all fixtures have been disclosed on the purchase contract. Exam Scholar, Real Estate Edition.